what will you do? Food. <laughs> yeah. well, do you know that exercise is highly related to our PE and academic study grade? Today I will talk about, my speech will divide into three different aspects. First, I will talk about the cost, what will happen, the cost uh, about keeping exercise will help you get a good grade on both PE and the academic study. And second, I will talk about the effect. What will happen if you qualify a scholarship in your study life? And finally, I will make a conclusion. Well, when we think of exercise, most of us will look like, mm, no, I don't want to ask exercise. Well, what, will, what are the other benefits of keeping exercise? The first benefit is that it can help you prevent cardiovascular disease and uh, cancer. According to uh, Paulus, he said uh, exercise reverses the risk of developing metabolic syndrome in those with high fat diets. What does this mean? Uh, for instance, if you uh, overtake some fat in your daily life and you can't uh, balance those fat in your body, if you didn't exercise, you will have a more higher risk to get the metabolic syndrome. The second benefit is that it can help you sleep well. Uh, According to Kurdani, she said serotonin is the precursor to melatonin, which is our hormone of sleep and repair. This means if you exercise before you uh, went to bed, before you sleep, it will activate those uh, hormones in your body and help you sleep well. The, the, third, uh, the third benefit is that exercise is a way to live longer. But how? Now let's review a scientific model. Scientists reveal exercises that will make you live longer. Like, yeah. Our body and all its complexity is a treasure that we must take special care of our whole lives. You only get one chance after all, <laughs> as far as we know. The better you take care of your health, the happier, more comfortable, and longer a life you can lead. Well, Scientists. Those are the benefits of keeping exercise. But why exercise can help you get a good grace? There are two main reasons. The first is that the CDC, the Center of Disease, uh, Disease Control, states that physical activity can improve cognitive skills and attitude and academic behavior. This means that if you are stressed out under pressure for your study, you can uh, exercise and uh, release your pressure, and it will make you more contribute in your study. The second main reason is that physical exercise can release endorphins in your brain. The endorphins act as a natural drug, which will make a person more energetic and more awake and more happier. The third, uh, what will happen if you gain a good grade on PE and academic study? The fact is that you can qualify a scholarship in your at school. What does the scholarship mean? According to the Oxford Dictionary, a scholarship means a sum of money or merit granted to a student because of her merit or need to pursue his or her studies. And in a practical sense, we always think that a scholarship is a kind of honor, right? And according to Maron, she said earning a prestigious or merit-based scholarship can make you a more attractive job candidate. What does this mean? After you graduated, you may apply for a job. If you add this experience in your uh, resume, you are more likely to apply for that job, right? Uh, I'd like to reaffirm the importance of keeping exercise can help, uh, can, the importance of keeping exercise. Today I have talked about the, import, uh, the cost and, and the effect of keeping exercise to qualify a scholarship. But is that only for your scholarship? No. That is more for your health. It can prevent the disease such as cardiovascular disease and cancer, and it can also prevent, uh, release your study pressure, which will lead you to get a good grade on your study. And then finally, you can qualify a scholarship. So it's never late to start keeping exercise. Thank you very much.